When you're browsing around the internet, usually we don't stop and think about the pages that we're seeing that potentially they could be sent to other devices, or rather more specifically, to our own devices using the same iCloud account. But if you have enabled Safari in the iCloud system preferences, it's one of the features that Safari and iCloud will do for you. Let me go back to Safari and let's discuss how this is working. As I'm viewing the different pages that I'm visiting, Safari will send the URLs or the addresses of those pages over to iCloud and then iCloud will disseminate those URLs to my other devices using the same iCloud account. And for that matter, this Safari can display the different tabs and the different pages that I had last open on my different devices using the same iCloud account. This is how you get to those. If you go to the tabs view, which is this button on the top right, at the very top we get to see the tabs that are open in the Safari. But underneath, right now on, on my Safari, we see three columns. On the far left, iPhone 6 with two listed pages or tabs. Those are the last two things or that's the last device with the last pages and tabs that I was visiting. The one in the middle is another Mac that has four tabs open in Safari. And the one on the far right is my iPad, which is the one that I used the longest ago. And to show you how this is behaving, let me make the browser window a little bit narrower so that we can display the phone. And I'm going to open up my iPhone on the left side. Now on my iPhone, I'm going to tap the Safari button. And as you can see, I'm browsing on that Safari, or at least the last page that I browsed, was the Ask Audio magazine. If I tap the Tabs button on Safari on the phone, we get to see the two tabs that are open, which happen to match the ones that are displayed on my local Safari. Check this out, this is actually quite interesting. I'm going to go back to the Ask Audio magazine tab on the phone, and on my local Safari, if I roll over different tabs, you see there's an X button on the far right. So Check this out. I'm going to remotely close the Ask Audio Magazine tab on my phone from my Mac. This may take a few seconds, but it eventually closes on the other device. The whole purpose of this feature is so that you can keep on working from one device to another as you move around. Let me give you this example. I was browsing these tabs on my other Mac, and then I had to leave the room and then move to this other Mac. But I didn't finish reading about the rainfall warning that we have in effect for Vancouver for tonight. Now on this Mac, I can click on that tab and then bring that tab open on this Mac. And now I can finish reading the details of the expected weather for the next few hours. Let's now assume that I'm going to leave my desk. So I take my phone with me, but then I forgot to close this browser tab on my Mac. I can close it from my iPhone. If I go into the tabs view on the iPhone, if I scroll up at the bottom, you get to see the different tabs for the different devices that I've got. It's a pretty long list. I'm from the top device, the third option, the one that reads Rainfall Warning issued for Metro Vancouver. That's the tab that I have open on the browser on the right hand side. Let me swipe it to the left and delete that tab. It takes a few seconds, but the tab gets deleted. 